Morning all. Now a while back I got out my Ares Flex or Ares Flex twin lens reflex camera from the 1950s. Beautiful camera but I struggled with it a little bit. I'll link to the video above but the image inside the viewfinder was very patchy. I struggled really to get a focus with it. In good light no problem whatsoever. In sort of dull light it was a, a bit of a struggle to be honest. Where am I going? So I decided to stick with the camera, take off the waist level finder and give it a clean up which I did. The inner lens and everything and just give it a nice little clean up and everything and, and it worked a treat to be honest. So once the viewing lens was clean and I could see a good image in the waist level finder which is so much better, so much brighter in there, it's, it's, it's a lot easier to use. I stuck another roll of Ilford FP4 Plus into the camera I took it out for a bit of a spin and what I did do as well, I, I added this little funky strap, it's made such a difference. It's made holding the camera, using the camera so much easier. Now the thought was just go down to the beach and get a few photographs down at the beach and take it, you know, just take a few random images and the last roll, I, I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. I took three photographs of a woman I met on the beach. First photograph was okay, I wound on, but it seemed to take quite a while to wind on and I don't know why, I, I, I can't remember it doing that before. Anyway, took other pictures and carried on and did, did my thing. Went through the whole 12 exposures on the roll developed the role the freakiest thing the first image came out of the woman nothing at all then for the rest of the role until the last three images when it was the same woman again i mean how does that start beginning end so the only thing the only thing i can think is that i've taken the picture the initial picture i've wound on wound on wound on the gear mechanism's not been recording or not been not been clicking and telling me that that's the end of that image and and wind on to the next film roller slipped through far too far and then I've carried on with the next two photographs thinking that's frame two and three when it was actually frame 11 and 12 freaky I don't know I've never had that happen to me before ever with any camera uh, and it's kind of got me baffled a little bit but anyway that's the only thing I can think it can't be anything else it really can't so I put another roll of Ilford FP4 plus into the camera I was very careful loading very careful winding and then I went down to the beach and saw another woman she was painting a mural on one of the old coastal erosion seafront groins. So I introduced myself, said, look, I've got an old camera. Not sure if it's going to work a treat. Uh, I want it to. Can, can I get a few photographs of you? If anything comes out, I'll send you the pictures. So she, yeah, yeah, go for it. Her name was Deb Lee, local artist. She's got a cute little dog with her called Jackie Chan. And uh, yeah, Jackie's got a bit of a Mohican going on down his back there. And he's such a funky, cool little dog. And then I developed the film in Kodak D76, one to one dilution, eight minutes. The negatives have come out well, everything's exposed. I did one double exposure, I knew that at the time. That was my own fault, not winding on like a fool. The film's come out great, it looks good. So all I've got to do now is scan it, put it on the computer, convert it to a uh, positive, and then we're laughing. Hopefully, hopefully, we've got some nice photographs. But the thing is, the thing is, I know this camera's fine now, I know it's sound, uh, and I'm gonna be putting some more rolls of film through this camera. And to be fair, I mean, really, I'd love a roll eye flex or a roll eye cord camera but i can't justify that just yet this little aries flex this is gonna be my little go-to twin lens reflex camera love it carry on doing what you're doing and i'll just pop off a few shots get the light worked out 16 125 11 250 8 500 that'll do my dad had one similar and a lot of photos of us when we were kids like in the 60s um obviously black and white and there's usually a kid holding the light meter and some bike guys went past you know a pack of the lycra guys yeah and uh, she was over there and i said oh there's jack chan you've got a bit of a fan club girl eh good girl good girl i'll try and get a photograph of you you stay there mate stay there girl you stay there girl sit down sit down sit down you're not gonna do it, are you you're just gonna follow me aren't you mm -hmm. go see your mum let's get a picture of you and your mum good girl good girl let's see if we can get a all right. There we go, there we go. That's number one. Beautiful. Let's see if this winds on to number two. Oh, look, it is doing as well. Look at that. Oh, well, it's, it's wound on, so there's something there. What's there? I don't know. But if I get these rattled off, I can get back to the van, get it developed, and uh, hopefully. Developing your van? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How do you do I've got the. It's just. Yeah, I've got the, so my, my fridge that I've got in the van, I never use it. So my fridge is full of chemicals and film and <laughs> and stuff like that. Who needs food when you've got chemicals these days? It's basically both the same anyway, isn't it? I think you've got a pee there, 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, true enough. My kids say that to me. Are you sure you're not liking meth, Dad? No, no, definitely not meth, Dad. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's another one, so... And it's winding on a treat. Maybe we fixed it, maybe. So one thing has become immediately apparent. This camera is fine in good light. When you've got good light on your subject, you're gonna get some nice photographs out of it. Uh, my development wasn't that great. It's old developer that I'm using. So I, I don't think that was too flash. Temperature was a bit iffy, so I've got quite a lot of grain in the photographs. But I'm not too concerned about that. That was a bit of a test roll to make sure the camera's functioning okay, which I know it is. So next time I do a shoot with this camera, I'll be a lot more careful, a lot more precise with my development. I whipped out the Leica Q2 to get a few photographs of Deb and Jackie Chan, because it's a colorful scene anyway. You know, they're painting a nice colorful mural and I want to get some color photographs. And this Leica Q2 is, oh, it is absolutely amazing. Why I'm bothering, why I'm bothering trying to shoot film, right? Really, when I've got this thing that does the job, does it quicker, does it better, without any fuss this camera any any camera any digital camera is <laughs> far superior these days in my humble opinion to an old camera but the thing is i enjoy using these things i get quite a buzz out of picking up an old camera some old kit trying to make a photograph and if something comes out acceptable i get a bit of a kick out of it so uh, i'll continue to use these old cameras uh, but i do do need to sell some <laughs> i've got a lot of cameras i've got a lot of old cameras in storage and it's uh, it's about time that i offloaded some that i'm not using so over the next few weeks months i'm going to be going through all my cameras and really trying to justify their stay in my little collection and if i'm not using them and i've got no intention of using them i'm going to, have to let them go because uh, i want to simplify my life and i want to simplify my uh, my collection <sighs> like a q2 pick it up rock and roll with it Canon 1DX, pick it up, rock and roll, no issues whatsoever, no messing about, no messing at all. Uh, another camera that I'm definitely going to keep is the Fujifilm X-Pro2 with its 850nm infrared converted sensor. What a camera, so that's a definite keeper. Another one is a definite keeper, oh this could take a while. Another definite keeper is my Zeiss Iconta M, 6x6 folder from the 1950s. Uh, what else we got in here? Of course, this little beauty. <laughs> This is my this is my Canon L3 with the lights Elmar 3.5 centimeter lens collapsible love this camera anyway so enough of the ramble until next time guys thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on a future episode